This week, I'm really liking the Nintendo Switch eShop sale. We're also getting just a nice mix of genres and then a whole host of new low prices. And today, I have 12 of my favorite discounts. That's going to be covering the US, Canada, UK, EU, and Australia. I also then have two winners coming up later in this video for two $10 eShop gift cards. And I also have two more to give away. That's going to be in next Saturday's video. And you enter by dropping a comment down below. All right, so subscribe if you enjoy the video. That supports the channel a huge amount. And yeah, let's get into it. All right, so before we do get started, then a quick thank you to the patrons and the channel members who support this channel. As many of you know, I recently moved. That's helped me get things just back up and running. It is seriously appreciated transparently as well. It's also helping as I do look for work because the grind for sure is real. Now, as a change to both, though, I did want to make an announcement. I have a number of lists dropping this week and going forward, and early access will be given to those members first for 24 or more hours, basically whenever they are ready. Now, if you do want to check out Patreon, find it in the video description and pinned comments. And for YouTube memberships, same benefits. That's the join button down below. It helps out a whole lot. So first up then, Strange Brigade from Rebellion. It's currently a steal at 85% off a new at low price, and Rebellion is just renowned at this point for their stellar switch ports, and this title is simply no exception. It runs smoothly and it looks fantastic. Now, Strange Brigade is a third-person action-adventure game heavily influenced by the likes of Indiana Jones, and here you're going to be taking on the role of one of four agents tasked with stopping an evil witch queen and her army. And one of the highlights is the cooperative play. You can team up with up to four players online and tackle these missions together. Now, while it might not be the, let's say, most intellectually challenging game, it is great fun. So yeah, come here expecting hordes of enemies, traps, puzzles, and then a variety of powerful weapons and amulets to master. Also from Rebellion then, Zombie Army 4 Dead War just hit a new low price with a 75% discount. Now once again, this port for the Switch looks and runs great and few games just offer the sheer satisfaction that this one does. Now, for those of you who might be unfamiliar, Zombie Army 4 Dead War is a spin-off from the Sniper Elite series and the concept is similar, really. You're a sniper during the war, but this time your foes are zombies. And the game features an incredibly satisfying X-ray camera that delivers some brutally epic kill cams. And this entry, and actually the series as a whole, comes highly recommended from me. Honestly, you can't go wrong with any of them. And yeah, if you're looking for a zombie slaying good time, Zombie Army 4 Dead War is definitely going to be a good choice. And you can find my review in the pinned comments. Next up, Disaster Report 4 Summer Memories is on sale at 70% off a new low price. Think of it as a low budget, almost B movie influenced experience with a certain charm that some might find, let's say, endearing. However, do be warned, it is far from perfect and it comes with its, let's say, share of issues, including performance problems. Now, if you've ever played Deadly Premonition, you might understand the kind of appeal we're talking about here with this one, but check out my review. But I do lay into it, even if I still had a fun time. The premise, though, is simple. You're on your way to town when a natural disaster strikes, and you must find safety as things progressively worsen. Now, what follows is an adventure and exploration experience that offers minimal guidance, but a lot of bizarre situations that can be oddly entertaining. Berserk Boy is once again back on sale. It seems to be monthly at this point, but now it's 30% off, which is the lowest price yet. I've also reviewed this one. You can find that video down below. Now, as for the gameplay, Berserk Boy is an action platformer clearly inspired by classics like Mega Man, and it's fast paced, offers just the right level of challenge, and it features stunning pixel art along with a winning soundtrack. Now, in this game, you're stepping into the shoes of a hero transformed by mysterious orbs, and essentially, you are out now to save the world. Now, I've played through it a couple of times myself. I have every intention of going back again. And yeah, check it out if you like the influences mentioned. A shout out then to Red Deer Games for sponsoring today's video with their latest release, Dross. It just released on the Switch and in typical Red Deer fashion, it is launching with a massive discount. That is 60% off and that is available throughout the month of July. Now this one is a steampunk action puzzle adventure game that uses a dual character setup. So that is basically the captain and little Dross. And you're gonna be switching between them all in the hopes of surviving the tower. This tower, not a good place. It's ruled by an evil alchemist. Expect though platforming, stealth, 
combat and then this really unique cast of characters to meet along the journey. Now I've been jumping into this one for the last few days and I'm really enjoying it. There's 40 levels to overcome, a few have definitely had me tripping up personally and I'm really enjoying the fact you gain new abilities that push you forward and there's collectibles that actually build upon the world. That's something I've always liked. A proper reward for going off the beaten path and exploring. Now, if you do want to check it out, I would seriously appreciate it. Check out the link in the pinned comment. And it's definitely worth a look, especially with this massive launch discount. Now, once again, a massive thank you to Red Deer Games, who were kind enough to sponsor this video. They've been longtime supporters of the channel. It is always seriously appreciated. Thunder Ray Origins is currently at a new low price with a 50% discount. Now, if you ever dreamt of a Punch-Out style game on the Switch, this is the one. Expect an over-the-top cast of characters, and you must step into the ring and beat these opponents into submission. And while the game is relatively short and can be completed in about 30 minutes, or at least that's the base game, it has higher difficulty settings to take on, and realistically, your first playthrough might take quite a bit longer as you do get accustomed to the mechanics and the different enemies. It also, as well, I want to say here, looks and runs great. On top of this then, however, the Origins Edition, this one we're talking to today, it includes the Forgotten Duels DLC that adds in a whole host of new fights to take on which detail Thunder in his original battle against humans. I had a lot of fun with this one personally, so I do think it is definitely worth it. Kingdom Come Deliverance then for many, including me, was one of those impossible games to get running on the Switch, but here they are proving me wrong and the game still as great as ever. I think First person adventure, not dissimilar to something you would find from Bethesda, and here you find yourselves in medieval times, out on the run, and eventually vengeance against those that attacked your home and killed your loved ones. I'm a big fan of the game, it comes highly recommended, and it's 30% off a new low price. You can also find my performance review for the Switch build in the pinned comment down below. Digimon Survive is on sale then with 75% off and marking a new low price and when it first launched the unique blend of strategy gameplay and visual novel elements left many fans divided. However, personally found this combination unique. Now I will say the game has some noticeable performance issues, particularly with unstable frame rates during battles. However, I do still think it is worth checking out. More than anything, the adult storyline here is great as you find yourself transported to a mysterious world where your primary goal is to survive and find a way back home. Now, the game's title says it all really, survival is your objective. And yeah, if you're curious to learn more, check out my top 30 must buy anime games, link down below. But yeah, I think this title, despite its flaws, deserves a spot in your collection. Disc Room is here with 70% off and new at a low price and I had the pleasure of reviewing this one on the channel. You can find that full review link below. The premise is straightforward. Enter what are essentially challenge rooms in an alien environment and a fired deadly spinning blades. This might sound simple but trust me it gets complicated quickly with escalating challenges such as the lights in the room going out. I found it addictive personally and it's also fantastic for those that want something just to pick up and play very quickly. It's also great in handheld and yeah, generally, me personally, massive fan. Yamawari The Long Night Collection is an underappreciated horror gem on the Switch and right now it's available at 65% off a new low price. Now while it might not impress you visually at first glance, don't let appearances fool you. This game is incredibly creepy and it packs a punch. It also includes two games, Night Alone and Midnight Shadows. Now, in Night Alone you play as a young girl searching for her missing sister, navigating through a haunting and eerie world. Midnight Shadows follows two girls exploring that same mysterious town. I actually stumbled upon this collection by accident back at launch when I saw the collector's edition in a store and decided to pick it up and I never regretted that purchase. For me, these games just capture a sense of lingering, I guess, tension and dread and for me it makes them must play for horror fans. Grapple Dog is a fantastic platformer that you shouldn't miss and it's currently at its lowest price ever, 75% off. Now here you play as Pablo and the main mechanic revolves around grappling. It might take a bit of time to get used to the movement but once you do I think it feels incredibly satisfying. The game then boasts expansive levels filled with tons of collectibles and one of the standout features for me was the 3D overworld map where you sail around in a little boat. It's a simple but perfectly, I guess, unique mechanic that complements the 2D world design that you will be traversing and yeah, for some reason that bit really stuck with me. You can check out my full review below. 
Laura is our first winner of the week then who highlighted the pedestrian, a great little puzzle game. Congrats on the win Laura, drop me an email for the code and everyone else. I have a second winner coming up here shortly in the video. Infinity Strash Dragon Quest The Adventure of Dai will no doubt be a controversial pick. Many despise the game at launch, especially critics, but I really enjoyed it. I actually did a performance review on Switch Corner as well, followed by a video and written review over on XP Corner. I'll be linking all of that down below. So now, why did it get so much hate? And people were likely expecting more from the experience, maybe an RPG with more mechanics and exploration. However, what it actually offers is more akin to an arena brawler, featuring characters you can switch on the fly and some, I guess, light RPG mechanics to level up your team. Despite the criticism though, I had fun with it personally, it even features a simplistic roguelike mode. Now while I know it's not for everyone, if you did end up picking it up and playing it, drop your opinion in the comments below and right now, it's 40% off a new at low price. Jacob is our second winner then, who's been on the fence with Pathless, but for sure worth it. Also, Alien Isolation, one of the scariest games on the system in my opinion. The tension there is real. Congrats on the win, Jacob. Drop me an email for the code and everyone else. Drop a comment down below for your chance in next Saturday's video. Power Wash Simulator was a surprise hit for me and it's 30% off a new low price. Now the name here really says it all. Hit the locations and clean them up. This release even added the Tomb Raider DLC where you get to clean up the manor and you can find a paid DLC too including Warhammer content which I'm definitely a big fan of. Overall it's surprisingly addictive though on the Switch it does have some frame rate wobbles just as a I guess warning it is still great fun however. The only warning with this game is that I rarely get hit with motion sickness but this one did it after like basically a repeat of the same constant movements. To just know there are actually some options to thankfully overcome that. There's actually some camera options and you can learn all about those in my review in the pinned comment down below. And that is the video down. Will you be checking out any of these games? Let us know in the comments if you do have any recommendations of your own right now as well. It's a big sale. would love to hear them too. So with that, hit subscribe. Join us here for reviews, deals, news analysts daily. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks everyone.